It doesn't matter what you say up here. What matters is what happens on stage. Absolutely, I agree with you 100%. All put right. your money where your mouth is. I have no problem with that. Oh, but put Melissa, your money where your mouth is. What's that mean? You're going to buy her a big present? No, this isn't about presents. I think what she meant is... <laughs> bring it. I don't know. Bring, bring it. Do bring, your on. bring it. Bring your present on. If she I'm gets still an not buying her a present. My kid will get there on her own. She will bring it. Amen. I think the real Jill is coming out. And now that she's off her probation, we all better watch out. That's contemporary, right. So I want this not to be contemporary in the choreography. Hi. Can I interrupt you? I have a surprise for both of you. For us? Yeah, okay. I know you've been working really hard. Yes. And I want you to know that I appreciate your hard work. I have oh, a surprise in Studio C. Oh, it's a surprise? It is a surprise. Ooh. Whoa! You guys are getting personal massages. Thank you so much. Abby. No one has ever done anything like this my whole entire life. I'm going to do my best to make sure that Abby gets taken care of. No, I don't know. You've done this for us. Never. Kendall actually came up with the idea. I swear to oh, God. Oh, really? Gianna, you put that Kendall right in the front. Perfect. Oh. Jill is very congenial. She's given me very nice gifts. She's doing all the right things. She's playing the game, but it doesn't make her kid a better dancer. This is something we could do on a regular basis if you were game for it. And you know, I hope in return that I am expecting good things for Kendall. Absolutely. What is going on? Like, why is the studio so empty? Where's Melissa and Jill? Hi. Who are you having a private? No, I wish. I just came through. Um. She's it guilty. doesn't pertain to you guys. If it's nothing, tell us. Your business. Just They're... tell us if it was nothing. Abby is a really big advocate for, you know, pay me off, give me a gift, but this is taking gifting to a whole new level. That doesn't look like nothing. And that poor masseuse. <sighs> How's that pressure, Abby? Fine. Good. Did you do that? Well, you know what? You guys, it really wasn't really your business. Yes, I did something nice for Abby and Gianna. Jill's trying to buy her way up the pyramid, and she's trying to buy Abby's friendship instead of you are the new person on the team. Pay your dues. Holly, this bothers you because you've been an absentee mom. <gasps> Let's face it. Let's face it. That is what it is. That and is I do not need Jill to reprimand me about my attendance. I'm a grown woman, and I do what I need to do for my children. I don't need to cheat to get ahead like some people, Jill. That's cheating? Yes, Are that's you cheating? cheating. I know crazy dance moms, you know? And, like, we're here, you know, Melissa's here, and Jill's, like, a whole nother level. No. You're acting like little if bitch. I came up with the idea, I, I would never do it. You know what? Get out of here. I think when Jill first came to our studio, she was taking meds, and I think she ran out. You are buying Abby and Gianna right now. If you guys are OK with being second or last, that's your choice. Forget about it. Chloe, you're being second. Chloe, you're, you're being second. Chloe, you're you're not second. second. You better not say that again. I'm actually going to borrow some lipstick. So Jill, if you would feel better if I borrow from you, I will. Would you like me to put it on you? I would love it. Oh, featured hot. part of next week's dance. Maybe yeah, gifts don't work. Maybe, maybe helping will. So now Jill is going to be Abby's official makeup fixer, and it's going to be like putting lipstick on a pig. Do I need anything else? A little powder up here. Mm -hmm. Now who's kissing who's butt? From you. <laughs> I watched Christy roll her eyes again and again at me, but I'm not sitting quietly anymore. And if it bothers Christy, let her eyes roll out of her head. I'm doing what I need to do for my child. Now that I have the kids out of here, I just want to make sure when I left earlier, I had said something about the vibe being off in here. There's a tension in the room. Something's out of sync. And I suspect I know what it is. We're not connected and we're not cohesive. And that strain is becoming very apparent to everybody. Jill, you're not on probation anymore. I understand that. But earlier, it was on and on and on about how come your kid's not doing something special. Abby Lee Miller was not put on this earth to make your kid feel special. Understood? It's about getting these kids to where they need to be. Jill doesn't know it, but she just put herself on probation. If she opens her mouth one more time, 
and starts bitching about something, she is going to be walking right out that door, never to be seen or heard of again. I cannot stand this bickering. If I have to lose somebody on this team to make it a cohesive group, I will do that. Do you understand? Yes? I left a great studio. I was perfectly happy where I was. I've done nothing but try to get along, and they've done nothing but beat me down. I'm sick of it. I'm here to take care of Kendall. That's fine, Jill. You guys have all this history we with do Abby. Have a lot you of history. and her are the first to and tell me that. We are a very cohesive team, and we have been. Well, you know what? We Maybe I don't fit in the team then. You can't for one second say, I understand. It must be hard to come in with with four really strong personalities and Abby. You know, no one gave me or Kendall any credit for wanting to be a part of this team. And all you do is come down on me nonstop about anything I try to do to get Kendall more a part of the team and be a part of it. So maybe we're not a part of the team. They pushed me out of that door, but I'm not leaving. I'm coming back with my guns drawn. They're not gonna shove me out anymore. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. So I brought you a couple little gifts. Ooh, what's this? Sure, math. <gasps> Is this to get rid of these spots? Yes. Really? Skin brightening system. Oh yeah, she's staying. We're good. Hi. My husband's brother is no a plastic on? surgeon here in Pittsburgh, so we have family here. That makes it even easier, doesn't that it? That does. All right, honey, go ahead in, get warmed up, and we're going to start, all right? OK. I don't want to look like her, then. Hey, why don't you give Abby her, um, her little gift we got her? In a shocking turn of events, Melissa and Jill announced that they went shopping and they could they bought a gift for Abby, because that's what I think about when I'm shopping. What can I bring Abby? It's just a little something that <laughs> Melissa and I, <laughs> we saw it and thought of you. Oh. Pretty. Now I need a gold outfit to go with it. Uh -huh. And gold earrings and gold necklace. And you can get that next week. We'll keep okay. it up. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Beautiful. Yeah. Look. Thank you. Well, hey, ladies, I'm going to put this away, but thank you very much for thinking of me. How about the next team you're on? I need a husband. Did you have your wand? Wait, you just shot the scene in there and didn't use the wand. Where, where's the wand? Oh, it's a snake. It would have been him. Here, Kara, you want to take this wand? Oh, well, that's nice. So they asked your kid where the wand was. She said, I don't have a wand. Why are you in such a bad mood? Sorry. God, everyone's working for you for free. I'm ordering her a platter of hot dogs to try to calm her down. I'm gonna be like, here's some hot dogs for you. Clearly you need something in your mouth to shut it up. The Tin Man needed a heart and the Scarecrow needed a brain, but what Abby Lee Miller needed is hot dogs. That is the only thing that can save this nightmare journey through Oz. Abby, we have a little present for you. It's gonna cheer you up. Oh, what's that? How do you to cheer you up? Oh, I do want a hot dog. Catch your mustache. Okay, then you can't be there. in a bad mood yeah. the rest there. of the day. I'm not in a bad mood. Wait, you're you are in a bad mood. No, I'm not. Why does everyone think I'm in a bad mood? I'm because not in a bad mood. Because you're yelling at everyone. How about our new BFF, Jill? Is she coming? Yeah, I'm sure she'll be here. Probably going to be here with a big gift for Abby. <laughs> I think she's very nice. Um, and I, I don't know her, so I'm You also thought Kathy was nice, so what's your uh, judge of character? <laughs> I like you guys, but I don't want to be your cheerleaders. I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but um, somebody said they quit from where they were dancing. There was like three people that quit because of her. <laughs> Melissa says that people have told her that Jill is like a crazy dance mom and that she's heard nothing good about her. A couple people said to me, isn't it funny how she wormed her way in here? After your kids got a music video, the next day I walk in and here she was, like taking classes and coming for this audition. Yep. So your reputation precedes you. Kelly and Christy already have their guard up and they're ready saying, we think that Jill is going to be a problem in our group. Um, I'm kind of thinking the same way, but I'm trying not to judge her. I'm trying to give her a chance. And I certainly don't trust people who are like overly nice, overly accommodating, sweet, nice. like. Because nobody's really that nice. Sir, I mean, I, I miss. I think her main thing was. Hi! Hi. How are you? Your first day. It's my first day. I'm Jill. 
Christy, so nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you Christy. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. I love Jill's voice. I think it's very 900 number. Abby, Kendall and I have a little something for you for letting us in on your family. I bought Abby a gift as a token of my appreciation, and I wanted to give it to her in front of all the other moms because I want them to know that I'm serious about this. What is it? Perfume and it's the Chanel and the. Is that the, that's the number and the five? Thing. That's it. Jill pulls out a gift for Abby. I wanted to die. I was like, oh my God, here's another Melissa. <laughs> gift giver. <laughs> Thank you. I would give Abby a three-month trial membership to Weight Watchers if I were to give her a gift. It's the gift that we keep on giving. One and two and three and... So I'm glad Paige is back in the trio. I am too. I, am. I don't understand why. I thought for sure she was going to put Kendall back in it. Paige was at the top of the pyramid this week. That's she should why. be doing a solo. Not just a trio, she should be doing a solo. She's at the top of the pyramid. Jill's a little upset that Kendall's not in the trio, but when Kendall was in the trio and Paige wasn't, Jill couldn't understand why Kelly would be upset about anything. So, Jill, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I'm feeling pretty left out for my child, who has been here since she was three, and she's never had a trio. Holly, maybe if you were here more often, <gasps> and Abby thought you were more a part of us in the team, maybe she would get more parts. I just don't want to pay extra for it, but yes, I want my child to feel good. <laughs> See where you are? Now go back. Jill, it looks like Kendall's getting a special little part in there. Well, so you ought to be I, happy about that. Then pat me on the back. Maybe I'm doing something right. Money well spent on those gifts. You guys always want to jump down my throat. You act like I've slashed your tires or something. I've done nothing wrong. I'm trying to make things better for myself and my daughter but, here. But the gifts don't work. That's it. Watch your tires. My goodness. I see how presents go over well with Abby. Just a, a little something. We're going to put a little bench in front of the dance studio. We're going to spruce it up a little bit. I hope Abby appreciates it. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Beautiful. You know everyone's going to hate you. What is that? Good morning. To Abby. Oh, good morning. Oh, my God. Just a little something we can oh, all love appreciate. Love it's not for Abby, it's for the studio. A bench dedicated to Abby. I think I've seen it all now. Good Lord. It's like a shrine to Abby. Well, it's actually a shrine to Jill. I thought Melissa was bad, and the level of brown nosing that Jill has brought to the table has just raised the ante. Maybe you'll get to the top of the Askin pyramid. Now Melissa's gonna be running around, how can I out brown nose this one? So all bets are off at the Abby Lee Dance Company. You guys could have been a little more receptive to the bench. It's not for Abby, it's not for me. It's Except not for it says to Abby it's Lee love Jill and Kendall. Because I think you guys you're... pick on me, because uh, you push me out. I think because That's you're a you diva, want. table for one. Oh, table for one diva doesn't give people things and right. do things for diva others. Diva table for one. You yes. would know what that's about. I don't. Uh, oh, no, because I don't have to buy my way through life, Jill. Jill thinks that she can just buy Abby off and get Kendall special treatment. That drives me crazy. Chloe works hard every day, and she never gets special treatment from Abby, and she deserves it. Why don't you storm out, because we'd like to talk about you now. Oh. <laughs> Whatever you want to say, say right in front of my face. I have. I think you're a conniving bitch. I don't have to sit so here. So immature. It doesn't oh hurt me one bit. Oh my god, I'm immature. Yes. You are the most condescending person I've ever encountered. You are. Then you don't get out much, but huh. we know that. I don't need to. Oh, you better stop right there. You better stop right there. I understand the music is called over and over, so there's a lot of repeats in it. That's why it's good for a trio. Kendall, the music is just as important. Don't daydream over there. When I look at you and go, stop, you need to hit it. And here's poor little Kendall, who needs practice and needs to work. She's doing your music. Huh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm so upset that Kendall is spending all her precious dance time, which she does not get much of, sitting on the floor, running the music for three dancers. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's go from the top and see what we have.
I can't believe it. What the heck did Kendall do, or I do, that she has to sit there now and do and do the music? Uh, she could a be shoe? in another room. Pardon me? Threw a shoe? Are you kidding me? As well, but you're saying, what did I do or what did my daughter do? Well, you threw a shoe and your daughter still wasn't at the bottom of the pyramid. I'm pretty sure if I had thrown that shoe at Abby, my daughter wouldn't have even been on the pyramid. She would have been on the floor and Abby would have been like snuffing her out like a cigarette. Go away, Chloe, go away. Catch this leg and hold it. Three. Their uh. time is precious. They have very little time to waste it sitting around pushing a button for music is really a shame. Kendall! Come on! Are you learning something by being in here? Yes? Because this is how a trio works. Do you see what they're doing? Play it right there. The problem is, is I think if you interrupt this class, she's going to be livid. My objective is to get my child out of there. Mm -hmm and do something productive, whether it's dance, mm -hmm. which is what I pay Abby for, mm -hmm. or her homework. I, just, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna backfire. I can't believe I'm a nervous wreck to talk to my dance teacher. I should not have these feelings. I should be able to go down and have a conversation with her without all kinds of drama, but I know it's not gonna happen. All right, play it right there. I was thinking maybe Kendall could be more productive. Okay doing her homework. She's the swing for this number. It's been an hour, Abby, that she's been sitting on the floor. She's helping me. Abby, I want her to dance. I don't pay tuition for her to be out here sitting on the floor. Would, I, I want understand. you to teach her to dance. All those things you said to me yesterday, she needs to work on her stretch, her this, her turns. Why are you not teaching her? Why aren't you helping her with well, this? Well, because I'm choreographing a trio, Joe. OK, so how much longer do you think this trio is going to take? Because it's been over an hour now. She yelling? Jill's yelling? She took her 900 voice off for Abby now. She flushed that down the toilet. She that doesn't voice. do it anymore. No. Yes, yeah, she does. She still says, guy. We come to dance to dance, and sitting there is not dance. Go. Jill needs to watch out. I'll tell you why. That kid of hers, Kendall, is adorable. I don't want to see anything bad happen to her because her mother's not playing by my rules. I'm not putting up with that crap anymore.